Number eight then from the first paper of the 2014 National Five, adding thirds. Express this sum as a third in its simplest form for three marks. Well, the first thing is you can't just add them and say something like the square root of 40 and the square root of 90 is the square root of 130. That's not correct. You can multiply thirds, yes. The square root of 40 times the square root of 90 would be the square root of 40 times 90, 36, 0, 0. If you're adding them, they have to be the same. Well, the clue's here. 10 as a number you think, well, that must be able to simplify because that's quite a big number. But there's no perfect square that will divide into 10. So that one's actually as simple as it can get. And there's the clue. The only way that they could add on to this one would be if they were also some number of root 10 and some number of root 10. And are they? Because when you simplify a third, you have to break it into two parts. The product of two numbers, where one's a square number and the other one can just be anything. Because it's only the square that can escape outside of the square root. Because the square root of a perfect square is a whole number. So here, I know it's 10 I'm going for. So the only way that could work would be if that was a perfect square times 10. And that was some perfect square times 10. And it's fairly obvious what they are in this case. This is particularly easy. That must be 4 and that must be 9. Now I'm using that property of the square roots. The product of the square roots is the same as the square root of the product. So that must be the same as the square root of 4 times the square root of 10. And the square root of 4 is 2. That's the same as the square root of 9 times the square root of 10. Nothing to do with 10, you're stuck. But the square root of 9 is 3. Now I've got three things that are the same. I've got two tomatoes, four tomatoes, three tomatoes. I don't actually, the root 10s. I've got 2 plus 4 plus 3. So that's 9 lots of root 10. And the marks were simply 1 for simplifying that one down to 2 root 10, 1 for simplifying that down to 3 root 10, and then the final mark for adding the three parts together. Now here's one where it says a correct answer without working would get no marks. There's a warning about being too adventurous the other ones and just jumping straight to a solution. And it also says something like for subsequent incorrect working, because you usually get that thing, anything any working after a correct answer usually isn't penalised, but here's one where they would. So if you did something like get that and then say, oh, that's route 90, that would then lose you the mark that you got there.